So what's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about negativity and stuff like that. Um, quickly I want to update what's going on um, in my life. I've actually been making some good gains in the gym, uh, a little bit of arm gains. I, in the past like seven months now in tra doing them bulk. So I do want to make some update videos on that perhaps next week. Um, we'll see um, how much arm size I've gained and plans and stuff like that. But anyways, to the video. Um, I wanted to talk about negativity and how to deal with negativity in your life and how to kind of cope with all the negative stuff happening to you slash in the world. Um, you can't obviously change things in the world too much. Um, you can't affect what's happening in the world, but you can kind of, you can affect what you take in with the world. So if you're just going about your life the thing about like news, I've talked about this a little bit before. The thing about news is if you watch a lot of news, read a lot of news, you're gonna get a lot of negativity in your life. That's not your negativity. You don't need it really. Um, I don't think it's bad to be on top of important news that that is going on. Like if there's like a major event that's really important, that's not bad. But I think avoiding generally just reading news for the sake of it is good. And, you know, finding out about major events is not that bad of a thing. You know, it's important to know some things, but like, I feel like most stuff is just useless in news. That's why I don't really read. If there's something important, I usually hear about it one way or another. Or see it in some social media platform, to be honest, nowadays. If there's like major news about something important, about the government or whatever. But like other negative stuff you can usually avoid. And that's something I recommend. So kind of have a good... Um, view on what you're taking in basically from the news another thing is when you have own your own negative experiences in life a lot of us can get into a spiral like one negative thing that's really bad happens and then just it's like one after another and you get this like whole cycle of like negativity and you're just like down at the bottom you know, I can I can definitely feel with that um, a lot of people get that it's like one negative thing one, one, you know, like your boyfriend, girlfriend dumps you, then it's like you get, I don't know, some kind of a problem somewhere in your life with something or an accident happens or somebody dies or just stuff happens, you know, like negativity just starts compounding and then you get to this like bottom that you just feel like absolute shit. You don't really want to do anything. You're kind of depressed, sad. That's a difficult place to be in because that's the most important place where you need to actually have good habits and do stuff like go to the gym or, you know, work on whatever you're trying to work on, you know, making it, making, getting your degree, going to your work, making a business, whatever. That's when you really need to be pushing because once you get out of that like depressive episode, then you can at least have those gains. When you're positive again, you're going to have all those gains that you were working on even when you were not feeling so good. So a lot of times it's important when you're at that bottom and a lot of bad stuff is happening to you, just keep going and don't let the negative stuff like bring you down completely. Just keep doing the things that you need to do so you can get to where you want to get to because at the end of the day life is going to keep moving and it doesn't care about your feelings. So that might sound rough to some people that like don't care about feelings, but it's kind of relative life. It's, Life is going to move forward regardless of your feelings. It doesn't. The world does not care about your feelings. Um, and you're pretty much going to have to do what you need to do if you want to make it further in life. Like, that's a, there's really no sugarcoating it. I've applied this my, in my own life myself. It's like when I'm taking a lot of negative hits at once, I feel like, and I'm like not in a great mood, I still keep going, you know, I still go to the gym, I still get my work done. And because I did all that work, then once I feel better and positive again, then suddenly I know this. I did all these things when I was not so good, right, in the mood. And then once I'm good, then I'm like, damn, I did all these things and I'm so glad because I made it so much further than I would have if I didn't and if I was just like depressed or sad or something. So, again, you just need to keep going. It is hard, yes. But that's the only way to really get to where you want to get to. The thing about like emotions as well, you can use emotions to feel you as well to an extent. 
I don't think it's healthy to be constantly angry or something. Um, but like if in the moment temporarily, maybe for like a week or two, you want to use a certain emotion you feel to push yourself further or motivate you, that can be useful as well. Or just like if you're fed up with your situation, that's a good time to use that emotion to push you to do something. Usually the thing about depression is depression is usually a signal of you don't like where you're at in life. And it's like your brain almost like telling you to do something about it. So you, you would stop being depressed, you know? It's like, ask yourself, why are you depressed? Why are you actually depressed? Is it because you're actually not content with where you're at in life? Or you're sad because you're not content with where you're at in life? So it's kind of like your brain almost like subconsciously telling you to do something about it. So you wouldn't be in this mood, you would be... If you were in the position you wanted to be in, you would probably not be sad or depressed. You would probably be happy because you're in the position you're in. Now, are there rich people and successful people who are whatever sad and so on? Sure, but that's probably a fair minority. Um, and so on. But I think the key takeaway from this video is how to handle negativity and negative moments and experiences is you kind of just have to, you, this might sound like just keep pushing even when you're feeling bad. But it, it is kind of the reality of the situation because that's what I've done a lot of times is just keep pushing regardless of feeling a bit down because it's like you have those gains later on and up is life is up and down so sometimes you feel good sometimes you feel down you can't have the good without the down so it's kind of just important to realize that and keep pushing regardless of feelings because feelings are ever changing and so on like women operate a lot on feelings but see men usually think more logically even if you're feeling bad you still do what you need to do and that's kind of the difference between a lot of times men and women not saying women can't do things regardless of their feelings and they do many times but like still women are more controlled by their feelings than men so that's how it works and i think that would be pretty much all my advice for dealing with your negative situation. So if you're feeling like nothing's just going your way, you're just taking hits all the time, you honestly just have to keep pushing till that kind of all that work you've done compounds into something great. If you're actually putting in smart, hard work and you know what you're kind of like doing to an extent and you know you're doing the right things, there is almost always luck involved to an extent unless it's like usually the gym. The gym is pretty consistent. You don't need luck to get a great physique. It's just hard work and doing smart stuff. Obviously, genetics play a factor, but you know, that's a good example of not requiring luck. But some things can require a bit of luck to achieve, especially if it's a big dream and not like getting a degree or something. That's more like hard work. But again, it depends what you're trying to achieve. But anyways, if you're doing the right things, I believe you can definitely get to where you want to get to. Again, if there's a will, there's a way to get you where, where you want to be. Obviously, a luck plays a little bit of a factor in everything in life. Um, but do your best, even in the negative moments, and that would be my advice. Thank you for watching.